What's up guys, Fishing Dad here. We're finally getting to catfish basics. Um, where to start with catfish? Um, so catfish are a mid water column feeder to bottom, mostly bottom, uh, bottom feeders. And so where you're fishing for catfish, now don't get me wrong, a lot of people will tell you, I've never personally tried it, but you can get those large, I don't have any or I'll show you guys, um, the large, about 12 inch long, and they're called cigar flutes. And you can, you can float fish for catfish and depending on your time of year, depending on uh, whether you're pre-spawn, spawn, or uh, post-spawn determines really how the the catfish will be feeding. And so, for starters, I'm going to show you, this is Walmart special, well, the rod is. Come on. So what we got is like my yellow line guys this stuff i love this stuff i actually just got this the other day from cast king and it is 30 pound braid and this stuff is like just huh i haven't got to actually use it out on the water yet but i cannot wait to because it is just honestly great quality feeling stuff and super easy to put on your reels anyway so what we've got here is a spear, tsunami spear. Uh, I believe this is a medium. This is just a medium, uh, medium seven foot rod. And uh, on it we have a my brand new. I haven't even got to use it on the water yet. My brand new cast. That don't. Sorry guys, <laughs> my line's caught up on something on my shed here. Um. The Cast King Rover 50 series. And guys, when I say this reel, I've just tossed it in the backyard. And, oh, it's gorgeous. So, got it. You're nice. Oh, y'all can't hear that. Hang on a minute. Let me get my line untangled here. There we go. You've got a really nice bait clicker. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Let me get the real whoops end up breaking the rod in the video it's got a really nice clicker let me do it the other way nice deep clicker uh i'm gonna flip this around and let y'all see the other side this is a full metal reel it's got great i think seven no it's a five five three to one ratio it's got five ball bearings uh let me get this around here look at that cast king 50r and that just means the rover right here and then you've got rover right there in the gold lettering gorgeous reel i love the look of it it's got the crank power crank handle on it uh Obviously, you've got your nut right here that if you wanted to, you could unscrew this handle and put a double-handled double, double handled, uh, handle on it, or double-knobbed handle on it. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, setup. It holds a, a astronomical amount of line, really. Um... I got a 500 yard spool. I bought two of these reels. I got my my other one on my eight foot um, Akuma rod. It's actually a technically a surf rod, but it it it's awesome looking setup. So what we got for rig? Honestly, very. If y'all watched my bluegill basics video this rig is very similar except 
minus the cork. So what we've got is about, I believe this one's not marked. Uh, I believe this is an ounce and a half um, cylindrical. It's kind of an egg sinker, but it's an elongated egg sinker. I'll use egg sinkers. They're really good too. And then I've got my bead. And then I've got that same knot I showed you guys in the Bluegill Basics video. Um, you know, the seven times. Y'all can't see that most likely. Um, let's see if I can get it to focus here. Sorry guys, my phone camera is wacky when it comes to just a basic, we called it a surgeon's loop in my Bluegill Basics video. Um, but as far as that being the proper name for it, I don't really know. Um, but just a simple barrel swivel with the snap. Uh, this is, oddly enough, a smaller one than the Bluegill setup, which you can use the beefier one like I showed in that video. Um, so... So, sinker, bead, swivel. And as far as hook, I've got, let's just go over here to the shed. Got me a new tackle box, actually, guys, and I'm stoked. This thing is massive. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get to my, I have so much junk. I need to be more organized with my gear. Oops, but. So I use a, usually an octopus circle hook. And the reason that you wanna use my, this is my personal opinion. You don't have to listen to my opinion, but you know, I've had great success. The reason you wanna use a circle hook of any kind is because Whenever you have your rod, you know, sitting in your, um, either your rod holder or up against a rock or however you can get it set up, you want that fish, wherever he bites it, you want him to be hooked. So I use, these are called catch matic hooks. These are three alt. They're, these are actually a little small for catfishing. Usually with catfish, you would want to use like a eight, nine alt hook, but I do not have any. So, I mean, I've caught my personal best about a 30 pound blue week, uh, last weekend. And, or, yeah, last weekend. Sorry guys, my hook is tangled up in my leaders here. There again, need to be more organized. Whatever you do. You know what? I'm just gonna use this one. Ouch. Hey, guess what, guys? I got a I got a big catch. I hooked myself. Um, so this is the size hook that I use. Again, kind of small for a catfish hook, but they are catfish hooks. They're just small. Um, because a the catfish, they have really large mouths and they will eat just about anything you throw in front of their face and i do not exaggerate when i say that i've seen people catch monster catfish on hot dogs i've seen cut bait i've seen live bait i've seen slim people use slim gems um scooby snacks like the little gummies i've seen people use those i've seen people use a lot of things to catch catfish and that's because catfish are bottom feeders. They feed on whatever scraps fall to the bottom of the little bluegills, crappy bass don't get on the way down and the catfish come in like a Hoover vacuum and just suck it all up. And it, so, sorry guys, I'm just tangled up on my own self there. Um, so yeah, I, I'm gonna try not to say um so much in this video. I watched, rewatched my Bluegill Basics video and realized I said um like a total of thirty two, like a thirty seven times, 
and I'm like, dang, I really need to stop saying um. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to hold back on the ums in this video. It happens, it's just a natural thing, I guess, really. Um, but, but anyway, where were we before I got way off track? Um, I think we were talking about just them eating everything. So catfish, yeah, they will eat the anything they can really find. And you ain't got to be too awful picky. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're in the middle of a spawn or pre-spawn or, well, actually pre and post spawn is when you're going to get the most bites on just about whatever you throw at them. And that's because whenever, a catfish, whenever fish spawn, they're not worried about food. They're worried about love, if you know what I'm saying by that. Um, so they're not too concerned about eating. They're wanting to find mates, make babies, and then protect that nest. And then they're hungry and they will devour anything and everything. And I do not exaggerate when I say that. So for me though, the best luck that I've had with catfish is live, or not even really live, but fresh. And by fresh, I mean either freshly dead uh, bluegill about the size of my hand you know about the size of your hand about you know I don't know seven to ten inches long and chop chop them up or if you're fishing for flatheads flatheads in particular really like whole bluegill or if you can get your hands on gizzard shad gizzard shad is most likely one of the absolute top five best catfish baits that exists live wiggling shad so at my top five and this is going to vary for you ask 10 people and you're going to get 10 different lists so for me gizzard shad is number one uh bass minnows or shiners uh, some shops call them are really good uh, live or freshly dead cut up bluegill uh, crappy crappy is a fantastic catfish bait because it's natural all these things that I'm listing are natural baits that they will find in most any lake that you will find bluegill crappy something and then the fifth one I would say I don't even know if I want to put this in on the list, but night crawlers. Night crawlers can be a very good catfish bait if it's the right time and if they're hungry enough. The first four are going to be the ones that you really catch your fish on. Night crawlers are going to be one of those, like, you can't get your hands on any of these other fish and you only have night crawlers. You might honestly could catch probably a catfish on a night crawler if you just sat there long enough and kept drowning worms. Um... I go saying I'm again, but so as far as what do you need, fishing dad? What do I need to get started catfishing? For starters, this spear rod that I showed you guys, the tsunami spear, you can get it at Walmart right now today for at max after tax, like I'm gonna highball it a little bit and say 20 bucks. And it's a spinning combo that you will find. A white rod on a, with a black reel. I've got the reel in the building. but And then <clears throat> I've become a really nice fan here recently of braided line. And uh, this is the high-vis yellow from Cast King. They're super line. And man, I tell you guys, not even having used it yet, this stuff... Now, don't get me wrong. This stuff is as limp as a dish rag. Like... You see, like, I mean, it's just forming, but watch this. Straighten it back out. This has virtually little to no memory whatsoever. And that's what I love about braid. With mono, if you was to sit and tangle it up all like that, you'd have all kinds of swirlies in your line. But with braid, you know, knot it up, and it's all knotted up, right? It's knotted up. It still might have a swirl. But you take your hand like that a couple times. Good as new. So, braid is a big yes for me. As far as reels. Oh, 
uh, with rods. This rod is actually on the lighter side, but what you're looking for, you want a rod that's got a really good backbone. And by backbone, I'm saying, whenever I talk about a good backbone, if you look at your rod from this, your last eyelet down to the top of your reel seat. So this piece of your rod right here, from your eyelet to right here, is, is your backbone of your rod. I mean, technically, you know, all the way up, but judge it on thickness. This is a medium rod. I've caught catfish on this rod. I've caught small sharks on this rod. I've caught stingrays on this rod. This rod can handle it. It's a, this rod is really good, guys. Um, hang on, guys. <laughs> 